How's it going today, guys? Today on Bargain Hunting, we're taking a look at yet another strange Bose product. If you thought that Bluetooth neck speakers were weird, how about Bluetooth sunglasses? Bose sells their Alto frames for $200, and I was able to score a display model for only five bucks. So let's take a look at them after the break and see if they're worth the full asking price. Stick around. Are you a young trendsetter? Are you looking for a cool new accessory to give your world a soundtrack while setting a new standard in fashion? What if I told you there exists a magical pair of shades that will allow you to strut with a swagger down the street with tiny speakers aimed at your eardrums? Retro shades, which allow discreet listening of your favorite jams. Bose hears you, and now you can hear Bose, as well as the world around you. Wear our signature sound on your face, and take phone calls with the push of a button. Available in two unique styles. Alto, for those with unusually large heads, and Rondo for the ladies, or anyone with a lady size head. We could have made these slimmer, sexier, and out of something other than plastic, but we didn't, and we don't have to because we're Bose, and you'll buy our products because we've told you to. These are the sunglasses with a soundtrack. Frames, available for $199.99. Get them now so we can wipe our asses with your money. Fuck you, bitch. I didn't have a box last time, so I learned my lesson. Here's a box from some snack crackers. Now let's delicately get our Bose frames out of the packaging. In all seriousness, somebody tried to steal these in my place of employment, so Bose went ahead and sent us a new display with a more advanced security cable. As mentioned earlier, I paid only $5 for these, but being a display model, it comes with some compromises. There is a proprietary magnetic connector, and the display cable actually screws into the charging port. And those tiny screws were lost during the attempted thievery of these display shades, so I have to use a damn hair tie or even a piece of tape in order to charge these each time, which is slightly frustrating. And to top it all off, these seem like they're locked at 70% battery capacity, so you never get to 100%. While I wish they would have opted for a micro USB charger, I can't exactly complain considering that I actually have the opportunity to test these out. Now let's get these connected. There's a white light on the inside of the frame that indicates if it is connected or in pairing mode. We're going to be using royalty-free music for this demonstration because I really don't want to get a copyright claim again. You know, there's only so much I can show you guys because the experience is all in how you hear the sound when you're actually wearing them. The biggest complaint that I can make with these is that they're a little on the quiet side and honestly, um, at maximum volume, the bass starts to distort. They, they have good sound, but I wouldn't quite classify them as, as Bose quality. All in all, they're a really cool novelty. The shape of the frames are a little questionable. I mean, I, I believe that they could have made these thinner or prettier, you know, maybe offer them in different colors or something. But at least Bose is trying to shake things up and do something different. I never would have imagined that we'd have Bluetooth sunglasses or neck speakers. I'm not a Bose advocate. I've never paid full price for any Bose product ever. So maybe I'm not one to talk. My wife really likes them. She's actually the one who I bought these for. So I, I can't pull off sunglasses. Wearing them is a mistake every time. I mean, I just kind of feel like I'm the old guy from the Up movie. But anyways, um, what do you guys think of the Bose frames? Are you planning on picking them up? Leave your thoughts below and more, and consider liking or subscribing if you'd like to support me or see me check out some other weird products. Thank you oh so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.